Welcome back to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I missed last week and I am super sorry about that. I, man, when I tell you about today's finished object and everything that went into it, I think you'll understand a little bit. Hopefully you'll understand a little bit, but today, because I have so much I need to talk to you about, we're just gonna kind of dive right into it. So if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. And if you've been here for a while, thank you guys for always being here with me. I, my channel, I mainly focus on crocheting. I do touch a little bit on knitting because I am a new knitter. And I always touch a whole lot about yarn because, well, I'm a yarnaholic, I can't help it. So thank you guys for joining me and Oh my God, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? This has been a labor of love and I love it and I love it. You saw in the thumbnail, I showed just like basically what you've been seeing when I showcased it as a whip earlier on in this podcast. Oh my God, I love that. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Oh, I love it. Okay, okay. Oh my God, here it goes. <gasps> it is finished. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so here's where I started. I started with this color and uh, this is where I had to add the gray in for ombre because I didn't have enough, remember guys? Okay, and whoops. Then it went into this. See there? We've got... The per and then it faded into this beautiful, like, purpley color. It's really hard to explain. It they never brought, they never got rid of this uh, corally color when it faded to the purple. There was always at least one strand of this um, coral color running through this purple color, which is actually it is absolutely gorgeous. This is this color here. Is like my favorite part. And you know what? I really love the way that this gray just kind of broke it all up. Let me see if I can back up and show you a little bit more. What I will do is I will take a full picture. I will take a full picture and I will post it on Instagram and on my Facebook and everything. So you can see it all the way. Now, this little bit of ombre right here in the gray in the middle, if you remember, I would have not had enough to make this blanket long enough. It was going to be wider than it is. It was going to be wider than it is longer, and I just thought that that would look kind of goofy, but it is, oh, I love this. And then I just brought back the grays a little bit. I did... Let me see if you can see them. I did two rows of single crochet. The one, the first row is with this. Let me see, I gotta go back and forth, guys. The first one is with this lightest color right here where there's no other color but like this really gray, light gray color. Then the second row, which is kind of hidden by this crab stitching at the top, but the second row, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, is actually this color right here where it had two strands of the silver and two strands of the gray. And then right here, this edging in crab stitch is with this all gray color. And this here, this gray was an ombre life. This was the Lion Brand Ombre Life in the colorway Midnight. I took apart a cake. The way that this is usually caked up is this black is on the outside and then it comes out to all the grays. And what I did is I just removed anything that had black in it because I didn't want to put black in this at all. So I made sure the only thing that went in this were gray tones. So that's what I did. So now I have three of these, uh, I'm not gonna reach for the ones. I have three of these where I have just gray and black and black, 
Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I have three of them now as scraps, so to speak. Uh, let's see. Let me tell you a little something about this beautiful blanket that I, ab I absolutely love. I don't know, Riley. Grandma loves this blanket. Grandma loves this blanket. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... I got some stats for you. I figured it out because I was curious. You know, you know how you are when you finish something, you go, wow, I wonder how many stitches I put into that or whatever. So this blanket ended up being 40 inches long, which I was kind of hoping it was going to be more towards the 42 or the 43, but 40 is pretty good. It's, it's, it's good enough. And it is 42.5 inches wide. So it is a tiny bit wider than it is longer, but I don't think it's that, no it's not noticeable enough. This is unblocked. I did not block this because this is made, all these cakes of yarn that are in here, this uh, purpley color was the Voltram um, cotton or whatever it was called. Let me go get the yarn band because I forgot it. Hold on one moment and I shall return. And it'll be as quick as that for you because I'll edit it out. Okay, I am back. I told you real quick. <laughs> it is the, oh, excuse this plastic bag. I gotta, I have some other things to show you. It is the My Melody by Voltram. This is a, this particular one I got off an Etsy store. And this was August's color of the month. I don't know if you remember me. I'll uh, leave a link for that yarn of the month club that I opened. That was way back in, uh, I think it was September that I opened it. I, I ordered the August and I got it in September or something like that. Obvious, you know, that's usually how it goes. So yeah, that's what this is. Now, basically these are the same as if you've ever seen or had or used well, if you ever used the um, the Red Heart It's a Wrap or the Red Heart It's a Wrap Sprinkles, you know, that kind of thing. It's the same construction. It's like 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, and it's uh, made with four single strands that you got to hold together, keep the, all the strands together as you work with it. Um, it is a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it makes beautiful, beautiful garments. Let me finish what I was saying. Okay, so now I showed you the, the band. I gotta put this back on me. I love this, I love this. Okay, so 40 by 42.5 inches wide. Now, I know when I was showing this as a whip, I kept saying something like 200 stitches across or 220 stitches across. And I don't know why I kept that number in my head. I don't know if it's because I was gonna use that or I did use that and after I was done with the chains, because this wasn't a pattern, this was just a, here's how you make this ripple stitch type thing. And I had to figure out the um, stitch count on my own to make it the length I wanted. That's all that was, the Pinterest that showed this basically just had a small section of what the pattern repeat was to make this particular stitch. And um, I think I have it, I think I can uh, put a link to it and I'll leave the link in my description box for you guys, just in case you wanna look at it. But it basically just showed the pattern repeat on this and I had to figure out how many chains I was gonna need to make this blanket. And when I finished the pattern repeat, I believe I had like four or five chains left over that wouldn't have gone. And so I just unknotted it at the end and pulled back and then re-knotted it. So that's probably why I was thinking 200 or in that range. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I never really f counted it because it was like this whole, this whole pattern was a three count of everything. One, two, three, you were doing something else. One, two, three stitches, you did something else. One, two, three stitches, you did something else. So I never really counted across until I was adding in the single crochets all the way around. As I was putting on the border, I counted the single crochets that went into this. So let me let you know. That was a long explanation. Sorry, guys. Okay. So I had to do the maths to find out how many stitches I put into this blanket. Now, this, this blanket was 
40 inches wide by 42.5 inches long, which I told you guys already. So there were 196 stitches across and there were 89 rows, which gave me a grand total for the body of 17,444 stitches for the body of this basically 40 by 40 inch baby blankets. 17,444. And for the border, for the top and the bottom, because I had 196, I did two rows or uh, two rounds of single crochet top and bottom, which would make it 392 stitches times two rows. So 196, 196, 196, 196 comes to a total of 784 stitches. Then on the sides, the sides, I put two single crochets in each uh, double crochet, which gave me the sides ended up being 178 times four rows, because there was two and two, came to 712 single crochets for the border. So we have 784 top and bottom, 712 for the sides. Then I did the crab stitch, reverse single crochet. I did one row around. Oh my God, I'll tell you about that in a minute. I did only one row around. So for the border, for the crab stitching, okay, so eh, crab stitching, reverse single crochet. For the top, I only did one row all the way around. So for the top, we had top and bottom 196 each, which gave me a total of 392 crab stitches. And on the sides, we had uh, 178 e on each side, which would give me 356, which gave me a total of 748 crab stitches. So when you figure out the body of this and you figure out all the border that I put in, I put in a total of, are you ready for this? Are you, oh yeah, I put it in the title so you'll know. 19,688 stitches for this fingering weight 40 by 40, basically, baby blanket that I made. Oh, it, labor of love, labor of love. That's why I am like so in love. I am so in love with this because I love the way it feels. I love, look at this drape. Look at this drape. Look at that. It is warm, but not excessively hot. It is, oh, I love it. Now, let me tell you a little something about crab stitching with this yarn. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. It was like, I don't know. I don't know. All right, Jackie, Jackie said, I think crab stitching would totally pull it off. And yes, Jackie, you are right. I believe this is absolutely, I don't know if you can see it good. I believe this is absolutely gorgeous. This looks absolutely gorgeous. It pulled this whole blanket together so neatly, so nicely. I absolutely love the way it looks. I can do crab stitching. I've done crab stitching several times in the past, but using like three weight, four weight, stuff like that, you know, plied yarn, not four single threads that you gotta hold together. Let me put it this way. There were words spewing out of my mouth that I believe would have made the devil blush. <laughs> I just, it, I, like, let's put it this way. A beginner who knows, who has all the skills, like your basic skills and knows her, how to do their stitches could uh, execute the crab stitch without any problems. I am an experienced, well, I am an advanced crocheter with years of experience and I was fighting the crab stitch with this yarn. Oh my goodness, my goodness. So I will never, ever, 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 ever do the crab stitch using this type of yarn again where you have single strands, single. The construction of these yarns is like this. It's not plied at all. It's just four very thin threads that when you hold them together make about a fingering weight yarn. It's basic, yeah, it's fingering weight. All this was done with a four millimeter 
hook, four millimeter G hook. So yes, this is my finished object. I know I'm talking about it, but I am so excited. I love it. I love it. I'm going to give it to my granddaughter and I hope she loves this for many years to come because I really do. This is like one of those blankets that now makes me super excited about that habitation throw that I'm knitting with fingering weight yarn that I was like, oh my God, this is going to take forever. Yeah, it is going to be a process. It's going to take me a long time. But now that I hold this in my hands and put it on me, I so want to complete that blanket. I am excited to complete that blanket. So if you guys have never made a blanket with fingering weight yarn, I wouldn't suggest doing bigger than like this because yeah, almost 20,000 stitches. That, oh my goodness. Anyway, okay, so I'm done, I'm done talking about that. I'm done talking about that. Um, love it, I am super excited. What do you guys think? How, did you like the way that turned out? I, I hope you did because I, if you didn't, that's fine. If it wasn't your jam, that's fine. But my heart really loves it. If you don't love it, you can tell me that's fine. You won't break my heart. <laughs> you won't break my heart. So anyway, excuse me, I got so thirsty. So anyway, you know, besides all of that, of those, you know, the ombre life that I have left, I have all of these. This is what I was, uh, I deconstructed, you know, the uh, cakes to get the, grays out of there so because I didn't on the last one the third one that I pulled apart I didn't use this color so I have probably 11 grams of that remember I weighed them and I think they came out to 11 grams and then this is the one with three silvers three silvers and one gray and this one is like three grays and one silver I wasn't going to go around this blanket two more times uh, no just no literally that crab stitching took me I think each side took me an hour. So this, this, just the border took me four hours. Yeah, close to four hours by the time I was finished. Because, I mean, each row back, uh, each row of the 196 stitches took me, if I didn't have any glitches or I was totally into it and I was just, just working on it and I didn't stop and I didn't, you know, get on my phone or talk to somebody or something like that in between, from start to finish, a row would take me 35-ish minutes. Sometimes a little bit longer if I was just having a few snags here and there. But so each row was, yeah, so each row was quite a bit of time. It, it, did, it did take a little, it, it took some time. But I also have where when I was putting in the center, and it, it's kind of... It's kind of like, well, live and learn and this, oops, this is, well, that one's going to be garbage because I'm not going to mess with that. Um, see, I have all these little, like, if you see, they're like little, I rolled them up like butterflies. This is from after I got done doing the ombre in the center portion. I probably could have put three rows of each, which would have given me a little bit more of the body that I was kind of hoping I was going to get. But it's fine. I think I think it was fine. It absolutely fine. But you know how it goes. I didn't want to start another row with now that I know 196 stitches. But I didn't want to start another row and get it almost completely done. But then couldn't finish off 10 stitches or something like that. And then go and then have to rip back 180 stitches. You know. So uh uh. So I was like, I know I could do two rows of each without any problems. So that's why I only did two rows. If you're wondering, I just give you that information there. So what else do I have to talk about today? I know I took way too much time on that. Now I do have um, whips that I'm not going to show you because I haven't worked on any of the whips. Um, they're all, you know, the Sislove uh, shawl, the Habitation Throw. I have a hat and I have another blanket that I was commissioned to do that I'm working on that um, when, the, when the blanket is complete, I'll show it to you on here, but I'm not going to use that as one of my, you know, like show and tell type things just because it's going to be an all black blanket. So yeah, there's nothing interesting to it. I was hired by a guy to make a blanket and it's going to have some top stitching on it for a design and you know, when I'm done, I'll show it to you guys because it, you know, it'll be 
I, I want to, I, I'm curious to how it's going to turn out. I'm kind of nervous about doing it because I've never done this type of thing. I've never like made a pattern using like top stitching or anything like that. So we're going to see how it goes. Anyway, so, uh, I forgot like last week I was going to say birthdays in the comments. I didn't get any comments about any April birthdays that anybody knew about for my last podcast. So these are just the couple that I know about. We have Lisa with Lisa's crochet. It was her birthday in April. And we have a yarn addict with Karen McGarren. I think that's how you say your last name. Sorry, Karen. I love you. You are wonderful, Lisa. And Lisa also became a brand new grandmother. So congratulations. And Karen, happy birthday. It's your birthday month. Lisa, it's your birthday month. Happy birthday. So that's what I knew of. I don't know of any others. If you guys do, leave them in the comment section and we'll run the names by. But happy April birthday for my April people. So I do have a little bit of enabling for you guys. Um, I'm not going to divulge too much into it. I have a couple things I want to show you. So I don't know if you guys knew, but after my last podcast, well, actually after the, the podcast, after I did the video that I talked about my ride or die type yarns, uh, the ones that I think people should have in their stash, it was like somebody was listening. The yarn gods were listening. Remember I told you I didn't have any Kobu in my stash at all? Well, I have some for my stash now. Yay! Well, actually, they're earmarked for stuff. It's going to blow out a little bit. Sorry, guys. I bought 12 of the tan color of the Kobu. I bought six of the... I bought six of the lilac. And then I bought five. Well, that's all they had left was five. I bought five of the whites. And I was going to, I had six in my cart, but they didn't have it. I bought these online at joannes.com. It was like right after that. I don't know if you guys had seen it. These were $2.99 each. And it was also during the time where there was a coupon for shipping for $1.99. So that really was a good deal. These 12 tan colors, I'm planning on making myself a crocheted, sweater or a cardigan for the winter time for this winter and you know I live in Florida that'll be plenty or and if I have some left over I'd like to make a top out of it for like a summery open top that you know like a cover-up type top that goes over like a cami or something like that with uh leftovers and I think I'll have leftovers I just wanted to make sure I had enough I believe most of the cardigan patterns that I have that one that even uses Kobu, I believe the most they used was, I mean, for the largest size, I think was like eight or 10. So I'm thinking that I'll have a couple left and I might be able to do that. This lilac color, I plan on making Riley a dress out of, like a summery dress for. And then the white, just to have some white in my stash for whatever. Um, or if I want to trim this or if I need some white for whatever reason, you know, you could always use some white. So anyway, I got a great deal on that on um, joannes.com. And then right after that, I, I, you know what I am on? I after because I have been, you know, overeating on yarn just a little tiny bit over over spending a little bit on yarn so I have to put a halt to it I am putting a halt to it but I couldn't pass that up I love Kobu I had to get it <sighs> my name is Tammy and I'm a yarnaholic I've had this addiction for too many years now <laughs> please send yarnaholics anonymous or something I don't know anyway I also bought now this is gonna look weird when I show it I bought this. This is Comfy Cotton, and this colorway is called Cool Night. I don't know if you can see it right there. See that? It has, like, taupe and browns and stuff. I love this color, and I actually have one, maybe two of these in my stash, which I have to dig out because it was one of those situations that Lion Brand had a sale on um, kits, right? Now, usually, like, I'll look at the kits that Lion Brand has on sale, 
and usually what happens is like the pattern in the kit is something I want to make but I either have the yarn or I have another yarn that'll work just fine and I like or whatever you know a substitution whatever anyway uh this particular pat and I'm jumping and on top of that usually on Lion Brand if you like say you like a particular top say it's called the ABC top right and you see a Lion Brand that they want to charge $5.99 for the pattern and or they want to charge you this much money for the yarn and the pattern and you think to yourself well I could go to Joann's or I could go to Michael's and get that yarn or I have that yarn in my stash um, so let me go see if I can find out how much the pattern is. A lot of times, if you type in ABC pattern crochet or whatever it is in your Google search, a lot of times in the person, the, the, the kit, a lot of times the, um, the person who designed that pattern has a blog site and a lot of times it's, the pattern is free. On their blog site you just have to scroll to you know through the end and there's the pattern and then you have the option of buying on a pdf version without any ads and without having to scroll through it you know that kind of thing i think you all know what i'm talking about so um like make and do crew some of their kits on lion brand you can find the patterns for free um, on their blog site. So this particular one, I saw the picture, I saw the picture of the top and here it is right here. So that was the picture. And when I looked at it, it said it used uh, Lion Brands Comfy Cotton Cool Nights. And I went, wow, I have at least one of those. And I started on the hunt for looking for Comfy Cotton in this particular, I like the way that came out in the pattern. I don't know. I love the way it looks. And I love the top. I really like this top. So I was like, oh, cool. Let me see if I can get some of that comfy cotton. I went and I looked and I put in the largest size. Like I went on the kit. I typed in, I scrolled up for the largest size and the largest size said it would need five cakes. So I thought, okay, if I have one, if I definitely have one, the most I will need is four more cakes. And so what I did was I went on like Joann's or something like that, I think it was. And on Joann's, at the time, I think the cakes were $6.99 or something like that. And I thought, okay, so six times or seven times four is $28. So, okay, that would be cost me $28. And then I looked for this pattern. I Googled, this is called the, I'm going to show you a different picture of it now. Uh, this top here is called the Cobra Crop Top. And um, so I Googled Cobra Crop Top. And when I did that, it took me to her blog site. But when I went through her whole entire blog site, the pattern was not available for free. She had a listing where you can click on and it'll take you to Ravelry or her Etsy store to purchase this pattern. So this pattern, it was a Canadian. It was $8.50 Canada which would have made it $7.07 US. So if I would have had to have bought four more of the, um, four more of the cakes at $28, and then this at $7, now we're up to what, uh, $36 or something like that. So this was one that the Lion Brand kit was way cheaper because it was something like 35% off. So this kit that I bought, that I got the digital download pattern, they didn't send me the actual printed out pattern, which I kind of wish they had. I hate digital ones that I have to print out. I don't have a printer and the one, well, I have a printer, but it never works. It never works, right? So I don't have a printer to print out patterns. So if I want to print out the pattern, I usually email it to Staples and Staples prints it out for me. Usually they don't charge me a lot of money, but still, regardless, it's still a trip to Staples to get these printed up, whatever. Anyway, um, so it would have cost me, what I say, $36? Well, this kit, even being shipped, including the shipping, only came to $21. So I was like, score. I saved money because it actually only came to like $15 and change to get these three and the pattern. So yes, 
I had to buy it. I know that was a long story to explain how I did that. I'm sorry, guys, if it was too long. But um, that's how I find patterns. That's how I find some of the things I'm going to do. And that's how I save money sometimes by seeing if there is a... F like, if you go and you're looking at kits that are on sale at whatever store, at XYZ store, and you love the kit and you want to make that pattern, but the kit, you know, that includes the yarn and stuff is just comes out to be way too much. You can do like I do, see if you have the yarn, see, or a comparable yarn that you would be happy in using, and then just start looking to see if they have a blog site for that pattern, or, you know, maybe just buy the pattern and you use whatever yarns you have in your stash and it only costs you a couple bucks. So that's how I do things. Yes, it takes extra effort, so I get an E for effort, but that's how I build my stash also. I save money that way. So yes, I, I did purchase that and I am excited. I don't know when I'm gonna get to making this, probably gonna make this during the summertime so it's ready for me for the fall because it's not like an open airy top. And even though that's um, a cotton polyester blend, a three weight yarn, I know it's warm because I made my granddaughter a cardigan out of it and she was warm in it. So I know that that won't be Florida summertime weather crop top. I'm not, and it's not going to be a crop top. I will. I, I, I'm, I'm too old and too big to be wearing crop tops. This girl, it's going to be a little bit longer. <laughs> but anyway, I want to make that during the summertime to have it ready for this wintertime when it finally gets chilly again here in Florida. And, oh, I know you guys are going to be like, really, really? But yes. So then after I ordered that, like a day later, Joanne sent me a... Um, a thing through my phone, uh, like a text message saying they had stuff on sale. And I clicked it and I opened it, which I've, you know what? I've got to not even open them anymore. But they had one of my ride or dies, and it should be in your stash, mandalas on sale. I don't know if you can see that if it's blown out. Mandalas on sale. And I did pick up just a few of these. I didn't go crazy because I do have mandalas. Well, you can't see them, but they're back there. And I have even mandalas that don't have wrappers that I bought on sale at Walmart. And I knew what they were, but I got them for like two bucks each. But these were only $3.99. And that's a good price because they're usually $7.99. That's the regular price. So um, I don't know if you can still pick these up at Joann's for $3.99. You may want to go and look. So yes, I did. I bought brownie. I bought a couple of brownie, which has these brown colors, which I love. And I bought a couple of the Centaur right here, which I think I have one of these also. So I bought one of those. I think those are the only two colors I bought. So yeah, that's all I did was I bought a couple of these. I bought a couple of this color brownie, which I like those colors, nice neutrals, you know me, my browns. And I don't know what I'm gonna make out of it yet, but I have it because I don't have a lot of browns in my stash of mandalas. And then the colorway Centaur, which also is like, you know, autumn-y browns and stuff like that. So I, I, I like that. So I had a couple of those, but for $3.99 each, that was a really good deal. I know you're waiting for me to get to the end because y'all know that I'm holding out to the end for <laughs> the big, the big one. Some of the reason you guys are here. You guys, okay guys, so I, I know you've been waiting. You've been patiently waiting, patiently waiting. Okay, okay, so now, you know, the title of this was what it was. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know right now while I'm filming this exactly what the title is going to be. I have them in my head. I have kind of what I think I might make, name this, but I also know that it, it, there is going to be giveaway in my title. So I know, I know, shh, I hear you, shh. Yeah, I know you've, you've been with me now for a little bit and you're like, could you please, please? Hey, you know, I hope you watch my videos from the start to the end. You know, girls gotta have hopes and dreams, right? I love you guys, I love you guys. Okay, giveaway for one, for my 1K subscriber. Thank you guys so much, thank you guys. So I thought about this, I thought about this for a couple weeks now and I was like, well, what could I do? 
could I could give away yarn and I know you guys love that I understand but but with the cost of shipping and everything else I was like you know what I don't want to exclude anybody overseas shipping is kind of like redonkulous right now I don't know if y'all know this but yeah and I don't want to leave anybody out because you guys come on you know that I, I feel bad so and I can't afford I can't afford a ton of money so what I decided to do I asked some people and they thought that it was a good idea so I hope you guys do too what am I giving away I'm giving away $50 like you, you guys are sitting here going, oh, I thought you were going to pull out a bunch of yarn and show us this big giveaway. And I wanted to, I really wanted to, but you know, like I said, with the shipping, I just want to make sure that everybody has a chance. And, and then I thought about it too. If I give away $50, whether it be, and I haven't totally figured out how I'm going to do it. I started thinking Amazon gift card, but then I thought, well, that limits you to only be able to buy something off of Amazon. So I think what I want to do is depending on like what country you're in and what, you know, the legalities are. And it's something that I'll have to talk about. I'll have to do, you know, when that time comes and I pick the winner, but I'm going to do $50, like a visa gift card. And that way, Whoever wins it can use it for anything they want. You can use it for yarn. You can use it to pay a bill. You can use it to go to the store and go grocery shopping. You can do whatever you want with it. So, or like, you know, what I was figuring is like, if you're in another country, I, I you know, whatever $50 equivalent is and however you may have to get it. It's something that I didn't research all of that part, but it's, this is what I am doing. Okay. So $50 guys, $50 in US, US $50. Okay. So that is the giveaway guys. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys understand why I'm doing it this way. So, so what are the rules and what is everything? Some of the rules are, first of all, there's going to be, um, a question that you have to answer. You guys, you, you get it, you'll get it. And I'll have to have that particular, word or words in the comment section. And when you comment with these words, this also means that you about, that you understand the rules, you've read the rules. I will leave the full rules in my description box. This is not affiliated or sponsored by YouTube. This is not sponsored by anybody. I'm doing it out of my own pocket. You have to be a subscriber to my channel. I will be checking. Uh, so you have to have your profile set to public if you want to be included in for the drawing. I'm hoping you like and you share this and give it a thumbs up. That helps me out tremendously. Any Anytime you give a thumbs up and comment and share and all that stuff, it helps the, it helps the creator let, it like lets YouTube know that I'm really doing something that I'm actually kind of working <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, it's going to start raining, guys. Oh, my goodness. It turned black outside. Anyway, official rules are in the description box. By commenting, you state that you've read and understand the rules. Uh, not responsible for taxes, fees, and duties. Uh, if your country... I'm reading this so I don't forget anything. If your country doesn't allow... Uh, me to do this I can't do it it's if it's illegal for me to do I won't be able to do it for your country if anything is illegal or anything is weird I'll figure out something I will figure out something uh that we can do like if somebody says I can't do a $50 gift card we'll figure out something believe me we'll figure out something and it don't worry I'll figure out something YouTube is not responsible for any portion of this contest or giveaway this contest ends on April 28th 2021 at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. I will announce the winner on YouTube on Thursday, April 29th, 2021. And I think I'm going to do a pull your name from the hat type drawing um, because that way I can verify that you are subscribed to my channel and that you put in the comment or you answered the question. And if you did all that and I'm able to verify you, I can just write down your name and put it in a hat and I can draw it that way. And I also have to make sure your comment is correct. You'll have to have the correct answer in the comments. And if the answer isn't correct, I'll have to pick somebody else. So come on, guys. I mean, 
don't worry don't worry okay you will have the winner when i pick the winner you'll have seven days to contact me and uh when uh you contact me i'll do something like it's gonna be where i'm gonna ask you to change your uh winning comment that you have on the in the comment section and i'll have you change it and put in a particular word or whatever or a phrase so that way I know it's you that I'm talking to. So I make sure that you are the person. It's like a verification process to make sure that you are the person that won and you are the person getting the prize and nobody else is stealing your prize from you. I know, sounds weird. And so now I think that's everything. Um, blah, 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 blah. No, I'll announce the winner on April 29th. Um, it may be later on that evening, but, uh, the, the announcement will be on April 29th for who the winner is. And, um, winner has seven days. I told you that. So you're probably wondering, what is the question I have to answer? Okay. So riddle me this. April showers brings... I need two words, guys. So that is the poem question. April showers brings. And you finish that for me. There's two words that I need in there. You guys should be able to get this. I mean, you guys should be able to. And you have to be over 18. Did I say that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, official rules. All the rules will be in my description box. Guys, I know I talk too much. I sorry love you guys so much thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you have a wonderful weekend and i hope you are staying safe and staying healthy and i hope you continue to stay creative stay creative with me okay guys so i'll be talking to you guys really soon i love you guys Bye.